All right, guys, and Raider Nation, what's going on? Uh, so the pick has been in. I know it's been some hours, or by the time you see this, it could be the next day. The Raiders select Khalil Mack with the outside linebacker, fifth overall pick in the NFL draft. Uh, from what I'm seeing, from an objective standpoint, Reggie McKenzie took the best guy on the board and stuck with it. That's the guy they wanted, just because he was on the board. They probably had him valued at, at that area, and they take him. What do I think about this pick? I love it. Oh, I like it very, very much. I did not think this was going to be on the board at all. I didn't even really mention him in my, my video because I thought he was going to be off the board. That's how, how much I didn't think we were going to get him. But to, to know that, that Mac was able to fall just enough to us, I will accept that gladly because the Raiders have needed a pass rusher for a while. I've, I've been saying it in my videos for quite some time about pass rush. There's been issues uh, in general with the pass rush and Obviously, some of that stems from the defensive line, which has been addressed in free agency. But when you have a true guy, the outside linebacker, who's versus how to do everything, he's quick, can get to the quarterback. Hopefully, he can spank guys like Peyton Manning, Phillip Rivers, and the time comes. I really hope that can happen. Uh, this is a this has been a position where the Raiders had the best player on the board or on their board, and I think. Uh, you know, they filled a very important need, too. I know the Raiders have a lot of needs that you can take the best guy and no one's going to question you for it. This time, it really, really works out. Uh, no questions about it. So where do you go from here? Well, I I really thought if Mack and Watkins were both taken before number five, I think the uh, I think Reggie would have traded down. That That's just me. Maybe he would have taken Jake Matthews. would have been my pipe dream, but I figured because we signed so many offensive linemen or signed a few offensive linemen, that that probably would not happen. He might have traded down, and who knows what he could have done, but thank goodness that's not in the question now. Mack and Watkins were both not selected before the number five spot. I'd really like to thank the Jacksonville Jaguars. They took Blake Bortles, and that was... A lot of people thought Mack could have gone uh, to Jacksonville, or even to, say, Cleveland, or if some team traded up for, for one of those spots... Maybe Atlanta could have traded up. Thankfully, that didn't happen, and we didn't have to worry. Uh, Jacksonville fell in love with Blake Bortles, and Buffalo traded up for Sammy Watkins, which I don't blame them. Uh, of course, that's kind of risky because they gave up a first for it. Uh, but, yes, uh, the Raiders took a, took a player that was considered the best on the board. A very safe pick. I'm not really excited over this pick like I was uh, quite a few years ago. Last time we took a linebacker. I think you know his name. I hope he does not end up like that. This guy better be competitive, better be fiery, hungry, not lazy. And oh, you know, Hopefully this guy can do everything we want in a linebacker. Uh, now we have a starting linebacker core penciled in with Khalil Mack, Nick Roach on the inside, and then C.O. Moore on the outside. That, that would be our starting linebackers. Uh, hopefully that core will be set for a few years to come. I know Roach is under contract for a couple of years. Obviously, C.O. Moore has a few more years on this from his rookie contract, and now Khalil Mack will eventually be signed. Uh, should should be good at that position. But where you go from here, uh, I think wide receiver should be taken. Probably just drafts beyond in the future. I think uh, I could I would not be surprised if the Raiders trade down a little bit uh, tomorrow. I know they have I think the, the fifth pick of the day, of course, uh, day two. I think a quarterback needs to be taken somewhere in round three, preferably. I think there should be a quarterback to promote competition for Schaub, maybe a long-term pro project, but I'm happy we did not take one in the first round. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo would be the first guy that comes to my mind who I'd want, but I think that uh, the Raiders will once again trust their board and take the best guy available on, on it. Uh, so wide receiver, quarterback, Pretty much any def other defensive position that's not linebacker, I think, will could also help out on T2. Uh, remember that the Raiders have a big gap. They don't have a fifth or sixth round pick. They have three sevenths, fourth, second, and third as you're watching this. Uh, obviously, it's going to change, but maybe if you're seeing this a day later. But the Raiders are going to have to show to me, once again, got to keep drafting. He's going to take the best guy on the board. But I applaud uh, Reggie, and I applaud the guys for... They seemed very happy. I don't think they expected Mac to be there, but he was. He fell to them, and uh, I'll take it. I'm very excited. So, Khalil Mac, welcome to Oakland. I'm looking forward to this uh, pick. I'm act 
a lot more happier than last year. We'll see you guys later.